Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Me Against Gaming, and welcome back to another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. As today, we are going to be doing the 99 overall Eric Thames debut. And yes, you guys can see that I don't have my face cam on. This is a post commentary. Uh, so basically, this year I have been struggling heavily in ranked. Um, I had three games last season to make World Series, lost all three of them. And the highest I got last season was 896. Um, yeah, I haven't really played that much ranked this season, but I'm going <clears> to <throat> push forward this week and this weekend because the season ends in exactly one week. So I'm going to try hard to get the World Series. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, but here we have the 99 Eric Thames debut. So 96, 112 contact, 115, 121 power with 73 vision, horrible fielder, but who cares? This guy is for his bat. He is incredibly good at hitting, and he's a lefty too. And if you take a look at my team, I don't have that many lefties. I have a switch hitter and two lefties, and then the rest of them are righties. So here's my team. If you guys were wondering, the only change I made. Well, actually, you guys haven't had a gameplay. Here. Oh, I forgot. I generated best squad, so I need to fix this. So instead of Piazza, it's Henderson. Yeah. So uh, I made some changes. I When I hit... No, I showed you guys a team update when I hit Prestige, but... Since that, I just put in Thames in for Buster Posey, and I got this Jazz Chisholm, who has been doing really well for me in the event. So I'm putting him on my bench, and if Barry Larkin sucks, because in one game online he went 0 for 4, but if he continues that, I will not hesitate to put Jazz Chisholm in. Um, so yeah, this is my team. I also got a bunch of new pitchers. I got three future stars. Kyle Wright in the event has been absolutely atrocious, but I'm still going to try him in ranked seasons. Not in this video, though. The Bruce Dark Ratterall has been eh in the event. And the Clark Schmidt has been eh as well. The uh, Bruce Dark Ratterall has been a lot better than it looks, though. That's the thing. Uh, so I think I'm going to start Hal Newhauser today because I haven't started him in a while. Uh, my bullpen is, is exactly the same. So, yeah. Uh, where you get this Eric Thames, if you don't know, once you hit Diamond Level 100, you unlock the Prestige XP Reward Path. Uh, and once you get to Prestige 25, you get to pick one of the three, and you can pick either Eric Thames, Jose Ramirez, or George Springer. So, yeah, let's hop into this Ranked Seasons game. So here's the team we are playing. We are play playing the New Jersey Mets. He has Oswald on the mound with Mondesi, Posey, Bregman, Gallo, Pete Alonso, Aaron Judge, Labor Torres and Michael Conforto. I have Hal Newhouser on the mound. You guys have seen my team countless times, and he's leading off. Alberto Montesi starts with the walk, and then I give him a bad pitch. And oh, is he gonna catch it? He might catch it. And nope, doinks him right in the face. So he's going to have runners on second and third with nobody out he to did. start the first. So now he is Alex Bregman, who's good against lefties, and he's gonna drive in a run. And I make a really stupid decision and think I can get him out of home, and I can't. So I, instead of getting me out, he just gets a free run without... Well, not a free run, but like a, a run without get, getting a hit to drive it in. Then he flies out with Joey Gallo, and it's not deep enough to test Mickey Mantle's arm. And then here Sheffield is not quick enough to make that play, so that's going to drive in another run. And that brings up Aaron Judge. I miss a slider, or not a slider, a two-seam, and that's a walk. And that brings up Glaber Torres. And just like that, I got very lucky that he only scored two runs, and that's a double play. Um, so, yeah, I, I already have two runs given up. Biggio leading it off, hits a single up the middle. So that's a great start. And then next up is Ryan Sandberg, and he is going to rip that up the middle for... A single. So we have leadoff or back to back singles to start this game. And then Mickey Mantle, who has been heating it up recently for me online, continues his hot play, driving in a run, sending Sandberg to third. Two to one now. And that brings up the debut boy, Eric Thames, who rips it to left center field for an RBI double. I probably should have sent Mantle here. He probably would have been safe, especially because he threw it to second. But it doesn't matter because Gary Sheffield is going to hit a ground ball, but it's going to score the runner. So I have the lead after the first inning. And now Prestige Reggie Jackson hits a rope right to the shortstop. 
for the second out. And then Mini Minoso, who has been impressing me a lot recently, just barely misses the hit up the middle. So I have a really solid first inning. And I could have scored some more runs, and he just randomly quit for some reason. So the next game, I am playing Louisiana State Tigers, which is obviously LSU. He has Kyle Ray on the ra- on the mound. Vidal Bruhan, Didi, Reggie, Matt Olson, create a player, Eddie Matthews, Roberto Alomar, Juan Soto. And I had a really good matchup because I had the lefty Hal Newhouser on the mound when most of his hitters were better against righties. But still, they're also good against lefties, and I just had a dumb pitch that I completely missed, and that was 100% my fault. So he starts the game with a 1-0 lead, and then Craig Biggio is going to get kind of a lucky infield hit. And even if he didn't move off the base with this first baseman by accident, he still would have been safe. And then Sandberg grounds into a double play, but no, he decides to throw out to second even though he tagged him. Uh, So after that, he definitely regrets that. Mickey Mantle, like I said earlier, has been heating up, and he destroys that changeup. I have the lead again after giving up runs in the first inning for the second game in a row. That brings up Eric Thames, hits a rope to center field for a single. That brings up Sheffield, who hits it right to the shortstop for a double play. I don't know. Gary Sheffield has not been insane for me. He's been solid, but he just he has not been that good against righties. And I rarely face lefties, and when I do, he's exceptionally good. But he's been underwhelming for me against righties. Mini Minoso has been better than Gary Sheffield recently for me, as he's going to get a ground ball single. And then Barry Larkin, the only hit I've gotten with him online is a blue pit to right field. So runners on first and second with one out. So that brings up the pitcher, Al Neuhauser, who bunts. And thankfully for his speed, he beats out the double play. He is one of the faster pitchers in this game at 43 speed. And then Biggio, probably my favorite card in the game right now, just destroys it. Breaks the game open, I guess you could say it, but then my opponent comes right back. I have another really stupid pitch, and anytime you give Juan Soto a bad pitch, he's just going to destroy it. He's just one of those cards in this game. 2-5 to five now, and then Matt Olson in the fourth. Just barely misses a home run on the changeup. The changeup, I mean, it was it did what it was supposed to do, get him out in front, which he did, but he almost timed it. He ends up getting the walk, and then that brings up his creative player, who swings at a bad pitch on a 3-2, and then Eddie Matthews, who's going to fly out to center field. So I only give up one run in that inning, and I have a three-run lead. So now Prestige Reggie Jackson is up, and he just completely destroys that pitch, and you cannot really give Prestige Reggie Jackson that pitch. He's going to do that every single time. And then Juan Soto, another bad pitch by me, and he almost sends it out for a second homer, but he misses it, and I make the catch. So now Didi Gregorius ropes a fastball. He, this entire game, you guys probably won't see it that much, he could not handle Hal Neuhauser's heat. Hal Neuhauser, I think, has 95 velocity, 97, something like that. I threw tons of fastballs, and he could not handle them. So he finally handled that one with the Gregorius, sent the runner to third, and then, as you can see, missed Another fastball, and now the debut boy, Eric Thames, who has been incredible for me in his debut, goes deep, makes him 3-for-4 with a home run, and my opponent pauses, offers a friendly quit. So, yeah, I'm just like, what are you doing? So that is going to be it for this video. Oh, we have a gold on the board. I wonder if we get him. And we do. Okay. Yeah, I already knew that was happening. Uh, Yeah, so I got a free Glaber Torres. Nice. I'll take it. And I, fi- I finally got to Division Series. So, yeah, Eric Thames did it very well in his debut in two games because the first guy quit after, like, two innings. I think he went three for four with two homers to sell that bat skin. Right? Two for four with two homers? Or three for four with two homers. Yeah. Three for four, two home or one home. Oh, he did a okay. Three for four with one double or with one homer. So he did exceptionally well. Another thing I forgot to mention in the be- beginning of the video is I got prestige Reggie Jackson as well. Um, yeah, and I also forgot to mention that the reason why I'm doing post commentaries was because I wanted to see how I could play without being distracted because I, whenever I've been recording recently and ranked, I've been failing. So I'm gonna continue to do ranked like this, and if I continue to win, I will. 
forever just do post comms. And I know you guys like live commentary is more probably, but if I'm going to win the game a lot more often, if I do post commentaries, that's just what I'm going to do. So yeah, uh, that was it for the Eric Thames debut. Tomorrow, there's new content. They revealed the two new BR Flawless rewards, the Tom Glavin and the Ben Zobrist. And there's also new headliners and another program, so I'm going to make a video on that. Uh, also, I have a bunch of really good diamonds, diamond pulls for the video tomorrow, and I'm not clickbaiting. Like, I know in my uh, the video where I pulled Springer and Strasburg, I said insane, and I did AL center fielder on the thumbnail. I actually had a card who is... A 90 plus that I pulled. So, yeah, make sure you guys are on the lookout for that. Uh, but besides that, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Nick from Big Ends Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.